Hey folks, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to teach you how to do some through-hole soldering. Specifically, we're going to attach the headers here onto this meadow board. Alright, so before we begin, there's a few tools and expendables that we'll need to actually do the soldering. First of all, you'll need a soldering iron, and any old cheap soldering iron will do. Don't feel like you need to go out and spend a lot of money on a nice soldering iron. Next, you'll need a soldering fan um, slash fume extractor or fume hood. When you're soldering, it gives off toxic fumes, and we don't want those in our lungs. You'll also want some tip tinner slash cleaner. Now this is for the first time using your soldering tip and this uh, preps the tip so that it can actually melt the solder. You'll of course need solder. Uh, make sure to get lead free solder so that uh, you know it's, it's non-toxic. And I like 0.6 millimeter diameter solder. Now that's pretty small and it's nice for modern electronics working. Um, anything bigger and it, and, it, and it can be kind of sloppy and anything smaller than that and you just there's just not enough solder there to, to, to work with. I also highly recommend getting some solder flux paste. Now this is technically an optional thing but I find that solder paste makes uh, your soldering a lot easier. Uh, it helps to actually melt the, so the solder, get the solder flowing and whatnot. And all of the professional solderers I know use and, and love flux, so I highly recommend it. And if you are going to use flux, you'll also want to get just a cheap watercolor brush for applying it. Finally, you'll need a heat resistant surface to solder on. Uh, they make some nice silicone uh, soldering placemats. And they're pretty cheap, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. I, I've been using a piece of plywood for years, so don't feel like you need to go out and, and, and buy something fancy there. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is heat up our soldering iron. When starting out, it's better to use a lower temperature and move a little slower. So start with a temp that's just above the melting point of the solder that you're using, typically around 350 degrees C or 650 degrees Fahrenheit. As you get better at soldering, you can increase your temp and your speed. Now, if this is the first time you're using your soldering iron, or if your tip is dirty, you'll need to clean and tin the tip. Simply give it a quick dip into the tip tinner, and then brush it off in your steel wool or wipe it on a wet sponge. Next, we need to place our through hole components. They're so called because they actually go through the holes on the PCB. This is in contrast to SMT or surface mount technology components, which sit on the surface of the board. Once the headers are in and square, it's time to add some solder flux. As I mentioned before, this is an optional step as most solders will have some flux in the core, but I think that you will find it will make your soldering a lot easier. There's no trick to putting it on, just take a cheap old watercolor brush and brush or dab it on. Flux works by lowering the melting point of the solder, and so it helps get it flowing and make soldering much faster, meaning that there's less of a chance of overheating components that are temperature sensitive, like these plastic headers, melting them potentially. All right, now it's onto the actual soldering. Place the tip of the soldering iron on the component that you want to solder, in this case, the pin of the headers, count to five, and then touch some solder near the tip or onto some of the hot flux, and it should start flowing. Once you've got a good amount of solder there, simply lift it off the joint and you should be good. Make sure that there's enough solder to fill in the hole and leave a little pyramidal mound, but not so much solder that you wind up with a big ball. Also, note that at lower temperatures, you're going to count to five or so before touching the solder, but later on, as you solder at higher temps, as you see here, you can actually move much faster. Awesome. Repeat for each solder joint and you're done. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you learned something in this through-hole soldering video. So until next time, adios.